Back again. I'm going to talk a little NCAA. Football. Football. We just finished the final regular season week. Technically, it's the first postseason tier, tier, week. Tier, 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 tier. Yeah, it was the, <laughs> uh, the championship week. So uh, we're just going to recap the games that went over, and then we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, the uh, championship matches coming up. We're not going to go over any bowls yet. We're going to get let it get a little bit closer to bowl season before we talk about those because things change. Players decide to play. Players decide not to play. People get hurt. So we'll wait a little bit closer to the bowl games before we predict the bowl games. But in this video, we're going to recap the championship games that happened last week. Yeah, the first one was on Friday night, which was a little weird. We yeah. had the uh, Pac-12 championship game. Uh, on Friday night, it was Utah versus Washington. Normally, normally it's not super high scoring games. Yeah, but this this one decided to be defensive. It was the weirdest. Uh, the only points the the only points that Washington scored other than the field goal again in the Pac-12 championship. I, I guess I foreshadowed it a bit mm, too early. Why don't you go ahead? Uh, Utah and Washington played on Friday night for the Pac-12 championship game. Mm-hmm. And uh, the only points, the seven points that Washington got out of that final score was a pick six. And the final score was 10 to 3. So there were six offensive points. Three points on one side and three points on the other. <laughs> that, was, that, that was weird. That was well, weird. That was a 10 to 3 game. Utah's quarterback threw uno, dos, tres interceptions. Oh, so he... Three for the big people out there. Uh, that does put Washington in the Rose Bowl. So, so, so. And a big matchup, though. They big get, matchup. They can get Ohio. They do get Ohio State. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. So again, we're not going to talk too much about the bowls, but that <laughs> did put them in there. And then Saturday, the the first game we had was uh, number 14, Texas, Against number five, Oklahoma, the rematch of the Red River, River rivalry. rivalry. That was the, that was the first time, right? First time ever that they had had a rematch in the same year. Wasn't yes, it? that's the first that time in their long cool. history. Yeah, you know, uh, it was a revenge game too. Yes, it was a revenge. Well, Oklahoma's wanting to seek revenge from mm -hmm. that loss against Texas earlier in the year. And it it, it looks like te it looked like Texas had their number again early, Until but, but then Oklahoma sort of came together as a team in the second half and. One thirty nine to twenty seven. So the revenge is over. Oklahoma wins. We will talk about the playoff spots mm -hmm. when we're done with the recap. Mm -hmm. But that did make them the Big Twelve champion. Washington is the Pac twelve champion. Oklahoma is the Big Twelve champion. And then we go the first on. time. I think Oklahoma won the Big Twelve for four straight years. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a good achievement. Yeah, we had uh, the uh, American Athletic Conference, the AAC, Memphis. Played UCF, last year's national and champions. Quote-unquote. Uh, Banners on the wall. Banners on the wall, baby. <laughs> read it read it and weep. Uh, Memphis played them pretty strong there starting out, but uh, UCF came together as a team. 56-41. to 41, Won by 15 points at the end. So, uh, no playoff for them. Nope. That's the, that's the key point I got to give to you. Mm-hmm. And, but... Your win streak is still going. That's yeah. something you can get a little positivity out they of. They get a little positivity And they do get a pretty good bowl game. If they want to prove themselves, they got a chance to prove themselves yes, coming they up. Do. They're gonna they be got playing, a chance. They're going to be playing LSU. Oh, that's going to be a nice one. That is going to be a good game. A good game. Speaking of the SEC, the SEC championship game, Alabama and taking Georgia. on Georgia in Georgia's backyard, basically. Deja vu all over again. Boom, something just failed. Uh, technical difficulties. Yeah. Uh, Please wait while we're trying to work on the difficulties. Me. All right, we're back to you. Uh, Alabama, Georgia. Georgia was, Georgia looked good. What They were up 28. To 14. To 14. And then late. Deja Vu struck again. Tua yeah. Tagovailoa went down with an injury. He didn't look. Did he didn't look good the no, whole game. No, he was 0 for 6 on third downs whenever whenever he went out. But he did get him back up to 21. Then we got injured, and, and then the exact comes, opposite happened. Here comes Jalen Hurts. Yeah, Jalen Hurts, the guy who got benched for Tua, and Tua came in and saved the national championship. 
Now Jalen Hurts comes come in, in and saves the SEC championship. And Alabama wins 35-28 to 28 at the end. And in a very competitive, a very good game to watch. It was yes. a very competitive game. And but I'll Alabama, be, once again. The king of the SEC. The king of the And, probably, and they have punched their ticket to the number one seed they are in the, the playoffs. No, they are the number one seed, yeah. Uh, but, hey, Georgia mm. gets another dose of pain this time around. Mm. Another. <laughs> they choked out. Gosh. One. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Uh, we had the Mountain West Football Championship. We had Fresno State, uh, Boise State going on there. I actually had Boise State picked in that one just because the Smurfs have been playing good. But Fresno State, now this one went to overtime. Wow. That I mean, was a... It was a, really, it was a really good game. It wasn't high score in 1916. Fresno State is now the Mountain West Football Champion. So. Well, Dad. Um, congratulations to Fresno State. Mm-hmm. You conquered the Smurfs. You beat the Smurfs. <laughs> finally, Gargamel finally got his revenge on the Smurfs. So. <laughs> Wait a minute, isn't he? At, isn't he at Oklahoma State? I think he moved to Fresno State. He moved to, he Fresno moved to State. Fresno State. Yeah. I didn't hear that in the news. No, he did. I guess so. Uh, it was in the fine print. You had to read it down to mine. <laughs> Uh, we had the ACC championship game, which was very B O R I N G. It was boring. It was boring. I mean, yep. it's, you're, they're playing Pitt. It was yep. forty-two to ten. That's it what was you. Boring. That, that's was kind of what you would expect, honestly. Yeah. Pitt was seven and five, and they weren't even ranked. No. I'm, now they're seven and six uh, and not just, ranked. Just a weak conference. The ACC had a weak conference this year. I mean, Clemson was a powerhouse, but. Nobody else was. Everybody else was. Eh. I mean, for Pitt to come out of that, that was. Eh. And speaking of a down year for a conference, uh, we had the final one: Northwestern, uh, Ohio State. Urban Meyer. Northwestern tried to do something at the beginning. Urban Meyer's the big story here. Yeah, they won forty-five to twenty-four, and that was all Urban Meyer wanted. He's it, retired. He's gone. He's going to coach the bowl game. And then he's retired. And then he's retired for the second time. Do I think he'll stay retired? No, uh, I, well then here in two or three years he'll get. I mean he's too he's he's young. He's what fifty six. He's I mean he's got another twenty years. He's fifty four. Fifty four. So he's even younger than I was thinking there then. So I mean he's. I say he I say he'll be back coaching again. So we'll just I, have to see. Yeah, just want to know where. Mm -hmm. No, probably at Clemson. He likes to go to a winning team, so he'll wait till Dabo goes to the NFL, and then he'll take over the Clemson job and win a title there, and That's then a, then he'll get. He'll start to lose again, and he'll get the jitters and quit again. So, uh, is it going to be like a repeated formula with him? I don't know. Looks like it, don't but it? But, <laughs> hey, uh, nothing to scoff at with his resume. No, he's got three national championships, two at Florida, one at Ohio State. And he beat Michigan every single time. So, Talk about putting your footprint on somebody. Well, that was all the national championship. All the champs, national championship. That was all the championship weekend games. Now, we will talk a little national championship now because we yes. know Alabama beat Georgia, so they got the number one. Ding! Clemson crushed Pitt, so they got number two. Ding. And Notre Dame, even though they didn't play, I thought they would drop from three to four, but, but no, they didn't. They didn't play they and stay still. At three. Ding! Stay number three. And in the final ticket, just like we predicted, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Even though after watching Georgia play Alabama, I think Georgia deserved deserved to be in the playoff. But Although uh, you some know people what? may say you can't judge a two loss team and you that's, can't put them in the playoff that's because a, they lost their conference championship. That's how many uh, uh, playoff teams we need to have. Why don't we get an eight team playoff? Why couldn't we get that? That has so many benefits in that. I mean, you Georgia could, missed out. Ohio State missed out. Uh, University of Florida missed out. Michigan could have been in our. I mean, let, think of all the teams that would that be would in that. That would have been exciting. Eight. That oh, would have been really good. Been fantastic. I'm a big proponent for the 18 playoff. But Oklahoma did slip in there. Well, because mm -hmm. the committee did look at what we looked at. Who had the better loss, and they picked Oklahoma. And mm -hmm. that's what we could have picked. Yep, yep. I would I would have picked Oklahoma too. I would have probably picked Georgia after seeing that game. Probably would have slid them up there. But uh, but it's so hard. I mean, how do you take Oklahoma out? How after they beat Texas on a on a revenge game and came from behind, scored thirty nine on them. I mean, Oklahoma deserved it too. But Georgia was probably a better team than Oklahoma. If you put but, them together, who would win that match? Yeah, Georgia would probably beat Oklahoma. But see, that's why if Georgia could beat Oklahoma, why aren't they in the top four? 
So um, but, I guess it's a debate for everybody. Yeah. Even if, those who support if, Georgia, Oklahoma. If there was Ohio eight, State. if there was eight teams, we wouldn't be talking about this. We'd we'd, be, we'd just be talking about four more good <laughs> games of football. Yes. So that's all that. But hey, we got to settle with the four right mm-hmm. now, unless someone makes a big statement to the committee. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess that's about it as far as the football goes. We will be coming back to preview the bowl games whenever we get a little bit closer to them. Oh, yes, we will. Mm-hmm. And we're thinking about maybe starting up a little college basketball here. And soon. some NBA. And maybe a little bit of NBA, too. So it's getting close to basketball season. Well, it's already uh, past basketball season. A lot of games it's are- not really basketball season until football season dies out. <laughs> it's Basketball started, but it's not basketball season yet. <laughs> Still football season, okay? But, hey, I like me some football. So, other than that, anything else you want to add to it? I think that's about it for the time um, being. I think that is about it. Now, be sure and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Hit the, gr- oh, wait, not the groovy baby no, button. Leave us a comment and share us with your friends. <laughs> I missed hit a time comment the groovy down there. baby button. Now, you do want to hit the groovy baby button. Okay. It's right over here somewhere. Other than that, we're gone, and y'all have some happy holidays. We'll see you again before Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. See you next week. Thank <laughs> you.